Hello my beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a very casual get right with me video. As you can see, I'm starting with a bare face. I am still in my mom's kitchen. I'm still visiting my family, my homeland, and I am filming with an absolute natural light. I'm sitting in front of the huge window. That's I'm gonna apply some makeup on my face, the bare minimum makeup that I brought with me, and I'm gonna chat about some of the things that's been happening in my life in the past month and a half, and uh, some life updates. So that sounds interesting to you stick around and let's get a video is i promise you guys that this video is going to come out i just wasn't sure when so now i have a moment to sit down and film this hopefully my equipment here is going to work with me the natural lighting is going to work with me the light can be just going in and out so i'm going to be doing some super basic makeup uh, because i don't even have non-basic makeup with me i'm going to give you an update on what's been going on and what we're looking at going forward in the next few months. This is my primer. I'm going to start from this. This is Ulta Mattifying Face Primer. I really like this. It's been working for me for a very long time. You know, I've traveled with this primer many, many times. It's my go-to primer when I test new foundation products or complexion products. This is a pore filling primer and it is mattifying. So I wanted to film this update because I know that many of you were waiting for it. So I didn't want to like postpone it anymore. So I am filming it as soon as I could. Actually, I didn't even plan filming this video today, but my mom's appointment got canceled today and I have a few hours to spare. So my foundation, this is going to be, I just took the cap off. This is a new foundation from Bare Minerals. This is the one that was launched about a month ago. Uh, Skin Perfected Matte Liquid Foundation, uh, Mineral SPF 20. I got mine in a shade Fair 15 Cool. First, I got this foundation in a different shade and um, I ended up returning it because I was purchasing it online and uh, when I got it, it wasn't a right shade. This one is still a little bit warmer than my palest self because right now I'm with my super pale self, but I decided to keep it because we are going into the tanning season, a lot say, and I am going to be tanning soon. So this should be working for me with like my light tan, but the texture of this foundation is so, so, so good. It's not like super matte. It's more of like your soft matte finish, but it doesn't like accentuate your imperfections, let's say like a fully matte foundation would. I did not expect anything less from this formula because you know i just ran out of the previous bare minerals foundation and that one was excellent i just used the last drop on that foundation I told you i was gonna film this video first where i just kind of chat and give you an update and then i think whenever i get a moment i would uh, film a makeup bag like what i took with me and show you everything that i traveled with you know i do this type of video often here and there, I have several of them already on my channel over the years. I years arrived here beginning of February. So my traveling vlog, how I was getting here, is already live on my channel. Many of you already have seen it, but if you haven't, I will I'll link it for you in the description box underneath this video. So I really was nervous before flying because it was a really, really long flight and traveling journey. And it was my first time traveling this far that long by myself. It was definitely a little bit challenging, but again, I'm not going to go into details because you can really watch it in, in the vlog if you're interested. Everything turned out very smooth. It was just very long. So when I arrived, my mom already had her surgery done and she was in a hospital with my sister. My sister was in her full duty in the hospital. Of course, mom was in a hospital under doctors and uh, surgeons and nurses supervision. However, there's a little bit different structure here in um, Russia because if you are a relative, if any of the relatives are willing to be in the hospital, if you feel like your presence and your care would be more beneficial outside of like medical care, of course, just being there and helping with like basic needs to your relative, that is allowed. And this is what we did. We mom had a private hospital room where my sister was able to stay and help her to recover. I arrived on Monday and on Tuesday, my mom was released from the hospital. They brought my mom home because we had to obviously call medical services to have her like literally delivered here. And I guess she can't walk and she was not really in a good um, physical condition or mental condition. So that morning, earlier that morning, before they transported her here, so her stitches from her spinal incision were removed. And by the time they got home, because of the way like the building is set up here, they had to move her and heart stretches like in the vehicle and then 
took her off on the soft stretches. Story short, by the time they got her home, her incision separated. So we got back with a surgeon and we were like, what do we do? So he said, no, you guys gonna have to come back because we just wanna monitor closely because we don't wanna leave it like that because it can get infected. So long story short, two days after I arrived, we were back in the hospital. So thank goodness I was already adjusted to time a little bit more and we moved in again into the hospital, but this time it was me, not my sister. So again, it was like a full-time thing. We slept there. It was just around the clock. So long story short, we were in the hospital for another uh, three weeks. So two weeks in, we're in the hospital and my mom gets a fever. She just gets sick all of a sudden. So her fever goes over 100. She is like obviously not feeling well, all that. So they really didn't know if it was like related to her surgery or it was just something else like a virus. So, but they put her on a visa medication to bring the fever down. I myself have a quite weak immune system. I've always had since I was little. So next thing you know, a day after, I am waking up with a high fever. I had a fever of uh, 102. Next thing you know, the entire department is getting sick. Like some of other patients in the same unit getting sick and getting fevers. Like the doctors are like worrying about everybody's like what's happening. So it turned out that was like a massive flu outbreak in this entire unit. And we were like in quarantine. Like nobody was allowed to come in. So we were just like in the hospital there all with fever trying to like fight it. Generally when I get sick, I do not get fevers. I would feel terrible. I would be like laying down flat. I would get like sinuses, cough, like irritated, uh, sensitive eyes, etc. But I usually do not get fever. And this one was like through the roof. Like I could not move at all, you guys. Like I was just laying like a piece of meat, you know, I could not move a finger. And I'm long story short, I was sick for four days with fever. I usually try to stay away from everything, take my vitamins and like wear a mask if I have to. Um, stay away from like drafts and wear warm clothes, etc. Because I know if I get sick, I get sick for a very long time. It's if you're sick for one, two, three days, I know people like that that just get sick for like three days and then they're fine. And it takes me weeks to recover. So I was like, oh my goodness, like I know I'm gonna be like this for forever. So then we got released and we've been at home for the past few weeks and it's been so nice. It's just been so nice to be home and just being surrounded by your shower, your kitchen, uh, your blankets, extra pillows, like new clothes and washing machine and basic necessities. And you just start appreciating all these things that we basically take for granted on a daily basis because we're just so used to have them. It was just challenging overall like mentally and physically just being there because I was so sore. My body gets into pain really easily uh, from a lot of different things. Like if I sit for too long, my body gets pain, like my hips start hurting. If I sleep on a pillow that's not comfortable for me, um, I get migraines right away. I get like shoulders pain, I get back pain. I get it is really how my body is right now these days. Maybe it's because I am approaching 40, Maybe it's something else. I have no idea what it is, but I know that after my knee surgery that was almost four years ago now, my body has never been the same. After that, my whole entire life changed. Uh, but today is not about that. Maybe in some other video, I will talk about that specific subject, how that changed my life, but today is not about that. In those conditions, First of all, it wasn't about me, it was about my mom. I was there to take care of her. And basically all the discomfort, all the things that I was experiencing, I wouldn't say a word about. I would just like, it is not about me, okay? It's not about me, it doesn't matter in how much pain I am or discomfort or whatever. It's just all about my mom feeling better, recover properly so we can get released out of the hospital. My mom's birthday was end of February and we were in the hospital that day and I think she was a little bit sad being in a hospital for her birthday, but you can always find something good to be happy about, right? That you're alive and you still have uh, your family and loved ones near you. So those things definitely matter. And I think at times like this, this is just something to remember that yes, it's not ideal that you might be like in the hospital or not where you wanted to be at that particular moment, but in things like that, I think it's important to 
remember the basics. The beginning of the year is usually super fun uh, in my family because we have birthdays starting in December. Like I start the season of birthdays. So I'm born in December, my mom is in February, then my nephew and my sister are like a few weeks after and there's like Easter, then there is May holidays. So in a nutshell, about every two weeks there is some type of gathering. Um, in a way, I felt like I was excited that I was here for everybody's birthdays. Because I'm gonna do my eye makeup look, but I'm using these two palettes. This is my travel palette that I made myself kind of like this but this is another one tartelette uh in bloom by tarte i told you guys this palette has traveled with me in so many so many different trips i am gonna talk about this palette later on when i film my uh, travel makeup bag so stay tuned for that had, so i so had a spinal surgery because over the years she's um, developed spinal hernias it's not a new thing that just developed she's had them for some time but you know, my mom is not an exception. She's a human being. A lot of times we know things about ourselves, but we neglect them or postpone them or prioritize other things or other people in our life because you just can deal with it or this can wait or whatever. So, so the reason why this surgery was so urgent is because my mom stopped feeling one of her legs fully insisted for her going through going seeing the doctors and this once they went into the appointments they basically told her that there are some hernias that were really enlarged and the reason why she doesn't feel her leg is because the hernia that's the biggest it's blocking the spinal nerve it just bulged out so much into the spinal canal spinal cord canal and because it was there for so long it calcified itself and it was blocking pushing on the nerves by 90 percent the surgeon said if you're not gonna do a surgery right now you're gonna get paralyzed like so we were like in a shock mode like oh my god like how fast can we do the surgery so the prognosis from the doctors were that they were going to perform the first surgery and then my mom would need to go to their rehab to heal right like once her incisions are done then we would go to rehab and i told you in my vlog that rehab centers right now are outside of my hometown so that would be me who would be going with my mom to rehab and long story short guys last monday we went to her appointment to the follow-up appointment they would recommend to just not wait for the second stage surgery and just continue um in about three or four weeks and um that's basically a change of plan right now so i I thought we would be going to rehab and uh turns out that we most probably not going to be going to rehab we're going to wait for like another three weeks at this point and uh do the second surgery because she has some nerval pain shooting pain and just causing her a lot of discomfort she feels miserable at times and she can't really properly walk she still can't sit we just understand that she's in a lot of discomfort and we can't help her unless that stage of surgery is done because long story short i was planning to be here like i said maybe like a month and a half two months um now i'm looking probably into four months probably till the end of may all right guys i finished my makeup behind the scenes because i just couldn't film and talk during that time, but all the makeup that I used, of course, I will link everything for you in the description box. Just wanted to say that overall, this experience for me was a roller coaster. I've been here, like I said, six weeks, and the first week I was kind of an emotional wreck because the first time I saw my mom being delivered like this on stretches and just like put on bed, it was almost um, like a shock to my system, to my mind, because last time I saw my mom, she was just uh, well and walking and everything. And uh, generally it's very, hard to see your parents like that um, especially if you haven't seen them to get into this state or to get worse right with their health and it's very difficult to see your parent being so incapable of doing basic things i've lived on my own since 20 years old i moved to america when i was 20 so the last 20 years of my life roughly i was on my own i was my own caretaker right um but the first 20 years of my life i was here it's very hard to realize that the person who was taking care of you and was helping you with your decisions and it was kind of like regulating your life to be so incapable and just be so vulnerable it's very very hard to process especially like i said because it's just such a drastic change it's a circle of life and it's something that you on your own need to learn how to process it's a big change and a big adjustment and um yeah that's why i'm here to be helping uh, my sister and taking care of our mom to get better so this is what i know at the moment and um 
things can be changing again next thing you know uh, so i'm gonna be here in my hometown till probably end of may so this is my filming space for the time being i am in a um, kitchen in the kitchen space so if you hear a noise from the refrigerator there's really nothing that i can control the natural lighting is out of my control if i have a chance to film anything and edit i will i definitely miss my beauty room i miss my routine uh, so the filming setup is um of course not ideal here a lighting is not really my friend so i can really be doing any like makeup videos because you obviously can't see anything i definitely don't want to be putting out poor quality uh, makeup videos that nobody wants to watch we have um, family members stopping by whenever time they have so i don't always know when i'm gonna have an hour uninterrupted to sit down and film and a lot of times i just don't control the situation so i'm just kind of going with it going with the flow and uh, taking it day by day so i hope you bear with me on this journey while i am uh, going through this part of my life and let me know in the comments below if you have any additional questions thank you so much for watching this video and um i will see you in my next one bye